Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of Hypertech Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube background using GIMP for you, your YouTube channel, obviously. Um, first off, you want to download the link in the description. It is a template for your YouTube background. Um, what it is, it just shows you where your comments and your info and your t your videos and your video description and everything is going to be so you know where to set up your things and how to edit it. So first off we're going to open GIMP. Um, I may be making a more advanced tutorial later on using Photoshop but GIMP is a free software and the link will also be in the description for GIMP. Um, now to to start off what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer doesn't matter what it's called make sure it's at the bottom at the very bottom and what I'm going to use is the gradient tool for those of you that don't know what the gradient tool is it is a color that you start off with and eventually blend into another color for this case it's black into white so it starts with black and blends into white I'm, I'm going to use green to white so so I'm going to start off at the top and drag it down to the bottom so it does this cool effect here which I like. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the top or the, the shape 7 and we're going to change our colour to a kind of a grey colour and we're going to start off at the top drag down to the bottom and then we're going to go to the next shape dra start at the top drag down to the bottom go to the next shape start at the top drag down to the bottom go to the next shape start at the top, drag down the bottom. Now the background here doesn't look too good because it kind of blends in with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this kind of black. Um, we're going to start here and drag down to the bottom. We're going to start in the middle because we want this to be black and then start to fade here. So that's your colouring done. What we're going to do now is do lit words. We're going to you're you typing your YouTube name, Hypertech. Um, yeah, so I am going to use the font called C Ryle. I think it's a very good font. I got it off um, dafont.com. Make sure it's a ho 98 actually. 98 um, size of font. Um, okay, because, well, it depends what kind of font you have. Well, basically, you want it to fit in, f you don't want it to go below halfway from this box here. Because, basically, when you go into your YouTube account, you won't see, you'll only see half of it, of the words. So, it's hard to explain. But you want it above here, so when you open up your YouTube account, you'll see the full lettering as soon as you open it up. You don't have to scroll down to read the whole word. So, small is better here. We're going to go to our twirl tool here, the rotate tool, and we're going to drag it to minus 90 degrees. Uh, rotate. Now we're going to go to our drag tool. Make sure move the active layer is selected and drag it over to here, make sure, yeah, there. Okay, I like that. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make more writing here at the other side, tutorials. We're going to make this one slightly smaller, maybe 60, and move it around plus 90 degrees drag it over here alright maybe we could edit this now. tutorials edit and help maybe yeah there we go now we're gonna have to twirl this around again 
plus 90 degrees rotate. We're going to put it down around here. Yeah. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get a logo. If you have a logo, you should use it. And if you don't have a logo, steal someone's. <laughs> okay. Drag it into GIMP. And make sure it's at the top. And um, if, if you're bringing your logo in and the outside here is white, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to edit your logo again and make sure that the background is transparent. Maybe I'll show that in another video on how to make a logo, but I can't really in this minute because I'm making a video on how to make a background, not how to make a logo. Maybe later, maybe in a million years, nobody knows. So I put it up at the top corner, made a little twist on it. I think that looks pretty cool. So I think I'm nearly done here. Maybe I should add something else. Yeah, I'm going to add another thing here. Um, I'm going to type in hyper tech. And this time I'm going to use a different font. I'm going to use C Rail. Because here you can change the color for... Oh no, wait. No, I, I think I'll use the exact same one. And um, I'm going to use green here. Okay. Hold on. Wait a minute, what's wrong with this? Oh wait, green. Oh, you need to change the color down here. Then we're going to drag it up here to the top. I'm going to zoom in a little. Um, we, what we want here is it to fit in, so maybe it is a bit big here. Um, so maybe... Yeah, that size. And put it around here because there's two little buttons here when you upload it to YouTube and then you have three buttons here so you need to just fit it in there somewhere. Actually, I'm not really liking that green colour. So I might just change it to wait, no red. No red, no. Blue maybe? Maybe blue? Oh, I like blue. But it doesn't blend in with anything else. I think black will make it too <sighs> blendy in kind of thing. Mm, maybe a silvery colour. Or maybe I can make it transparent. <laughs> no, let's get a silvery colour here. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Even if it's hardly visible, it will be okay. So I think that's pretty much... D oh, oops. I think that's pretty much done. Um... Yes, yeah, so thanks for watching. Please rate, sub, comment. Good luck on making your official background image on GIMP for YouTube. Thanks for watching.